Baker steps forward tonight to challenge allegations against him. He is one of four leaders from the El Paso County Sheriff's Office embroiled in the latest complaint that surfaced against Sheriff Terry Makita. A deputy alleges sexual favoritism and verbal abuse for exercising his First Amendment right. Cardio News Channel 13's Emily Allen is live tonight at the Sheriff's Office with both sides for you. Emily? James and Heather, at the center of this complaint is a meeting that took place here at the El Paso County Sheriff's Office. The deputy was called in to meet with Sheriff Terry Makita under Sheriff Paula Presley and Chief Al Harmon. Now, the sheriff's office did release audio from that meeting. However, an attorney representing the deputy says that's only a little bit of this meeting and definitely not the whole story. It was a meeting in March. The sheriff's office says Deputy Cliff Porter was called in because of insensitive comments he made about a missing persons case. Statements that were made to detectives within the division in regards to um, basically that the case uh, after a certain date would go cold. Porter's attorney Aaron Jensen says when his client was called into the office, he was bullied and intimidated for supporting a candidate not endorsed by the sheriff. Porter was questioned for comments he made about changes coming to the office to a co worker. Man, my perspective has been with all the political stuff that's been going on. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people, but it seems crazy around. People seem worried and frustrated. And why? I mean, guys on patrol are worried about this and that. And it just seems nuts, man. The complaint says Commander John San Augustine forced the coworker to write the memorandum concerning the alleged political statements. The coworker says he was worried he'd lose his job if he didn't. San Augustine says that's not true. There's two sides to every story in, in, in layman's terms, right? That we. Um, have to look into everything that is going on. At the end of the clip, you can hear Porter walk out the door. The sheriff's office says the meeting ends there. Jensen says it doesn't. That simply is not accurate. I mean, this ordeal lasted for almost four hours. It was a meeting in March. That's about the only thing both sides can agree on.